boy, if you've come here for the oddities, you're in for some good, <laughs> some good eats here. This is Miracle Warriors Seal of the Dark Lord. Nobody has ever talked about this game. Not a single soul has ever spoken anything about Miracle Warriors Seal of the Dark Lord. Uh, I don't know what this game holds in place, but we gotta enter a name, so I guess that means we have to put in ass. It's just, it's just the rules here. Okay, we have started the game. Heal status items quit. So, immediately, I'm, I have a feeling that this is an old school style JRPG. Even older school than Fantasy Star, which is even older school than Dragon Warrior, which is even older school than Final Fantasy. Uh, I, I think I have the timeline right, at least. What I'm saying is, this is some old eats. Fate calls thee to bar evil's entry. Thou must seek the seal of the Dark Lord. The seal is guarded in the Gorkus Shrine. <laughs> Quickly find the ancient sage, Kosama. All right, so clearly we gotta we gotta find some stuff here. A, Z a Z rod. What wilt thou do? You know, I have a feeling I'm gonna wait. Wait, hold on, hold on. Can I can I talk to it? Yikes! It's attacking. Oh, well that, that was a bad mistake. Shouldn't have talked to it. This is not Undertale, as it turns out. Ass's attack. Okay, this is so old school that we we don't even actually get any damage numbers here. All right. I have failed in thy quest. Good start. And that's that's Miracle Warriors. Oh no. <laughs> we didn't even get a chance to save anywhere. All right, we are ass again. Yep. Quickly find the sage. Now, is there like a... I say, I don't even know how, how, how you're supposed to save. Oh, there we go. There's save. Save one. Perfect. Okay. So, let's let's venture forth. A Gelfus. Hopefully this is less horrible than the Z-Rod. Now holds not even one magic item. Ah. What good will a spell do now? I don't know. I was hoping it'd be like some, you know, lightning or something. I guess... We'll just attack it normally, then. Ass just barely dodged out of the way. And we have dealt a little bit of damage. Okay, so we all have health bars. It's the very top white bar there. I'll attack it again. We've done a little damage to each other there. I'm, I'm a little worried that it'll just kill me. No, we just barely dodged out of the way. We live to see another day. Thy foe had three fangs. Does this mean we can heal? There is no herbs! Okay, well, I guess not. Is there anything safe in... I can't wait news of your success. Okay, well... As of yet, we have still not encountered... ...anything good. And we have to fight a sea seg now. Okay. I'm beginning to think that there's a reason why Miracle Warriors isn't heralded as, uh, the granddaddy of, uh, <laughs> JRPGs. Oh my god, we did, like, no damage to it. Look how big its health bar is! We're screwed. <laughs> well, don't, don't go into the woods. That's what I've learned first thing here. Okay, we'll continue. Number one, yeah! Before we even killed a single enemy. An Unmutak. You know, they really went deep when they were uh, developing the lore for this game. They were like, we want to make sure that we make monsters that have never been seen anywhere before. They didn't want to be mistaken as a uh, Lord of the Rings ripoff. And I guess they just kind of threw letters into a blender and said, that'll do. One fang, 100 guilders. Thank you. So guilders are money. I, okay, I got that. Now, if there were a way to, like, do anything in town, instead he's like, get out of here. You're trash. We have no items. We have three S and one D. <laughs> so, what does anything mean? A Weasley Wimp.
My foe avoided my attack definitely and then at attacked me. Okay, you know what? I would like you to drop some herbs. I've decided that's what I'm looking for. I don't know what that bar above my health is, but it's slowly going up as I'm attacking. There we go. They had two fangs, and as far as C, we have 15 C. <laughs> Another Weasley Wimp. I would certainly love if I could regain health in some fashion. However, it appears that all we can really do is just uh, attack and pray. Nope, it got us. All right. If you would please, I'm going to take one second to uh, confer with the manual because I have a feeling there's something I'm missing here. I will be back very shortly. As it turns out, I'm not really missing anything, actually. It's just uh, kind of a disaster of a game. <laughs> okay. Can we beat a single Unmutak? Now, I do know that the blue bar there is my XP bar. If that fills up, I gain a level. Which is probably good. Can we get one more, like, free hit in on it? Dude, excellent. One Fang and 100 Guilders. Now, there are villages, I just haven't found any. We'll, we'll save in slot two, just to be safe. The Weasley Wimp. I'm not too concerned about the Weasley Wimp. I just like saying Weasley Wimp. You really do just kind of got to get lucky in terms of, uh... <laughs> I'm going to be saving constantly. What was I going to say? Got to get lucky in terms of, uh, if you attack them first, if they attack you, like, if you dodge, it's all out there. Ooh, this... The Thief does a bit of damage. He had 300 Guilders on him. Unfortunately, I don't know where any villages are. And the Gelfus is gonna murder me, man. Ooh, I should probably just run. Thou art surrounded. Okay, well. Or we could not run. There is that. That's okay. We did save, so we'll, <laughs> we'll be able to continue. It's one of the few Master System games with a save function, you know? Or at least kind of a save function. You probably still gotta beat it all in one sitting. Ah, uh, I, I'm, okay, so running, running doesn't really seem to ever work, but I can't really seem to take on Gelfuses either. So I'll, I'm kind of in a bad way right now, you know? This is why I'm doing multiple save slots here, because I don't want to, like, soft lock myself. That said, I'll just go kind of straight south. Gelfuses! More Gelfuses! Alright, you know what? We gotta stand our ground. We gotta stand up to the Gelfus. Oh my god, it's gonna destroy us without a question. We dodged the Gelfus. The Gelfus avoid avoided me. And there we go. Yeah, we're at, we're at the point where we can get two shot by a Gelfus, and I really don't know how to uh, ensure that we don't fight any. Continue. Did he tell me where the shrine thing was, by the way? No, no, I guess I can't find out again anyway. He's like, I already told you something. A village! Yo! This peaceful town is known as Garia. Well, I'm glad I know where the village is, at least, you know? What can I do for thee? Oh, man. Cool stuff. Knife? 3,000 guilders? I await your return. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Collected fangs are proof of valor in battle. Okay, I have three fangs. You, do you want them? Buy feathers for the way you travel. I'm sure. Now, is that actual advice or, like, mistranslated advice? 
Heal me, please. 120 kill. I don't have any money, man. <laughs> this is... This is fucked. Our town requests 500 guilders as a simple donation. Sorry, please leave. I'm getting st straight up extorted here. I was like, hey, a town. I'll buy thanks if you Yes, dude, please. Now I can afford to get healed. Although I might. Oh. Give me a sword for me. You have no... Oh, right. Sorry, I don't, I, I don't have a sword. Looks like he'll improve swords. I want some armor, man. 5,000 guilders. Hey, at least that guy's like... Oh, okay. I await your return. It'd be nice to see you back at some point. What I'm gonna do, though, before I heal, is I'm gonna save and see if I can't, like, squeeze a little more health out of what I've got here. We'll just circle around the village. Like how we can only look north, too. A Z-Rod. I should be able to beat this, right? Nope. <laughs> Probably not, now that I see it. We gotta dodge like 500 times. Yeah, no, we can't. We, we can't beat the Z-Rod. It's not gonna happen. Now the manual did say this is not a game you're gonna beat in just one afternoon. And I'm like, oh, dude, I I believe you. Okay, let's actually. I'm gonna go a little bit further north here to the castle. I think easier things spawn around the castle. Give me the wimps. A thief. I can beat a thief. They do a bit of damage. It's not even that much. But I can, like, two-shot them. So, yeah. Nice. It dodged us. Beautiful. <laughs> this is seriously like a save-after-every-single-encounter kind of game. And then we go down. We say, hey. Healing lady. I'll take your healing now. It's me. I'll be 200 guilders now? Last time I asked it was like 120. You know what? Whatever. See if I care. Go back up to the castle. Yeah, Weasley wimps. These I got no problem with. I just... I clearly need some levels. Dude, look at that. Big level. Another Weasley Wimp? I... I don't fear it. Although, knowing my luck, this is probably the game where you need equipment to do more damage and just leveling up is not enough. Come on, Wimp. There we go. He, he had two fangs. Oh, a merchant. What will that do? I will talk to him instead of murdering him. Stride the open plains where thou belong. So turns out the merchant was kind of a dick. Yeah, I know. Where's the where's the dude who buys him? He's down here, right? Yeah. Buy my fangs. 550. Now, unfortunately, we still need, like, a billion guilders left. Will you heal me? It's me. He, this dude, he just keeps ratcheting up the price every time! Yo, forget Rising of the Shield hero. This is, like, the worst fantasy world to get stuck in. Basically, everybody here is just out to, uh, swindle you. Nice. That's a free kill. We want to fight more thieves because they're... They've got the guilders on them. Let me just hope that they continue to spawn here. I don't know if certain areas give higher odds of spawning or what, but... 
Oh no, one tiny little bit of damage. Oh, ah, but as long as they keep dodging, you know, I can change the course of the game. Boy, I'll never say a bad thing about Final Fantasy again. Not like I was prone to doing so. Nice, 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 nice. Provided he gives me 300 guilders again, that'll be good. Yep, that's another 300. Look at that. Save. Don't get cocky for even a second. An evil merchant! What wilt thou do? Well, I think we'll attack him. He seems like a jerk. <laughs> I like how that's, like, the best they could do for monsters. They're like, I don't know, how about, a, like, a... A shopkeep, but he just wants to kill you? He had 2,000 guilders, though! Dude, give me more of those. That's what I need. Then I can get a knife instead of... I assume that currently I'm probably fighting with a spoon. An unmutak. I can fight this. That's not going to be a problem. It did It did a little bit of damage. One fang and a hundred guilders. It's something. We keep saving. No, 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 no. Not no save. Save one. There we go. I think I can squeeze another fight out of this. And if not, hey, there's a reason I'm save-scumming the hell out of this game. This game is basically saying if you don't save-scum me, you're gonna die. Can't we dodge every now and then? And this is where I get really, really greedy. I save again. I go for another fight. Another unmutak. Easy. I dodged out of the way, that's perfect. Okay, now. Sell the fangs. You know how the loop is going. Ah, uh, nope. He's not the guy who buys fangs. This is the guy who buys fangs. Yeah, please. Please, purchase my fangs. I could probably even give the small donation to the town, but I don't know if that's going to actually do anything. Heal? Me? 360 I'm getting so ripped off. <laughs> now I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the town, save, donate, see if it gets me anything. And then if it gets me nothing, well then we'll just, uh, we'll reload. Or I'll forget to do any of that. Yeah. Kosama dwells in a valley on the border. Okay. So, literally all it was was advice. A merchant, what must thou do? <laughs> okay, the merchant. Uh, it looks like you're better off. Oh, wait, hold on. My C went down. I'm now... I went for plus to my... Hold on. I, I gotta look at the manual, because that means something. Is that your alignment? Or something? One moment. It's supposed to explain this, probably. C. Character points. Some villagers will not admit you if you don't have enough character. And be careful who you slay or your fame could decrease. Okay! That's what that means. That's cool, actually. The game has a rudimentary alignment system. That's pretty forward thinking, actually. You can't just slay merchants willy-nilly. I mean, I... I did anyway, because he... <laughs> I needed his money. But it's it's simple enough. You just slay monsters to get back to to get back up to that point. And just keep fighting the Weasley Wimps, man. I'd love to get 5,000 gold so I could buy an actual... Ah, uh, well, I was going to call it a sword, but I guess it's just a pathetic little knife. The healers, they are... These are without a doubt the greediest healers that I've ever seen in a game. They're like, hey, every time you talk to me, whether you get healed or not, I'm just going to jack up my price for next time. Like, how is that a sustainable business model, man? You're not going to get any repeat business. Do 
two fangs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back up to positive character. So that's nice. <laughs> I suppose. A Gelfus! Can we actually fight the Gelfus? Is there any chance that we beat the Gelfus? It it does hit like a truck. That's the first time we have beaten a Gelfus. Three fangs was all it had, which feels not great. Actually, hold on. Let's let's save and see if I can squeeze another fight out of this. Again, you you really have to nickel and dime your health in this game for how much they uh ratchet up the pricing on you. Just don't spawn any Gelfuses, please. Weasley, perfect. My foe avoided the deft attack. What what else is new, man? We're so close to a level up. Give me a thief or an evil merchant. I would love either. Nah, nah. Wow, well, well I, I completely screwed that up. The menu, you know, the menu system is a little jank because, again, the Sega Master System has like two buttons. We're, we're going to die if we fight the Gelfus, but we're also going to die if we try to run away from the Gelfus. That's fine. We, we just continue. We continue, we try again, and we hope that it doesn't spawn a Gelfus. If we're at full health, yeah, we can beat him. I am not going to kill the merchant. Be not scared. Art thou to crush evil? No! No, not... Not that Gelfus. Dude, when you continue, you lose all your XP. There. Oh. I just realized that that's awful, man. I thought it was just like, hey, you load your game and then you're good. No, it, it it's like, dude, don't save scum me. Your actions have consequences. That's 300 guilders, I guess, but man. That's nasty. See that? My XP bar. It's down to nothing. 200 guilders? Fine, we'll just take a normal heal then. Cure me. 580... God! <laughs> this, this is, uh... Whew. A game of questionable design. Yo, I would love to just, like, stab you and take all your money because I need money. On Mutak, that's not gonna do it, man. <laughs> Guess we'll crawl back up to our next... Unless... Did we get the level? Hold on. What's my status? I may have actually leveled up again instead of losing all my XP, so I might want to, like, steer away from freaking out for now. If thy fame decreases, thy quest will be long and weary. It's just like real life. As long as you're famous, everything's easy, man. I may not have lost all my XP. I may have, uh, just leveled up and not realized it. Which I would definitely prefer if that's the case. Because that seems not so bad. An evil merchant! Here we go, here we go. Check this out. He attacks you, but he does, like, no damage. You get 2,000 guilders and some fame. It's perfect. Okay. Bring it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in, we're in Garia. I get that. What can I do for the... Uh, give me a knife, man. Oh, it's only 3,000 guilders. Who will use it? That's me. So we should theoretically have one more. <laughs> now that says 50. I hope that I hope that doesn't mean that this thing has limited uses cuz if that's the case then I'm going to I'm going to freak out. Weasley win. We're doing a tiny amount of damage. <laughs> Oh, no! The weapons have durability! <laughs> oh. 
this is this is a travesty. An absolute sh sham. Oh great, now we got a Gelfus. Great, the, the Gelfus dodged me. I couldn't dodge the Gelfus. Fortunately, it's it is taking a beating. I think one more hit and we're fine. Yeah. This is the biggest scam of a game. <laughs> Yeah, buy my fangs, please. I gotta go pay the healer, who's gonna probably be charging me like 720 gold. Oh, only 440? How kind of you. How lovely. Now, does he charge based on like a percentage of your gold, or just like every time you visit him? Sup, dude. I have enough family where I could probably stab him and kind of get away with it, but, you know, why why waste it? First become stronger, then thou can fight. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm grinding all day here, man. Good. Dodging a Gelfus attack is big. Oh, we dodged it again. I can't believe it. Incredible. We need to save. I need gold. I need... levels. Oh, man, I'm getting lucky. Can we attack first? Yeah, I was gonna say, don't even give it a chance to swing. I can feel my luck running out. The Gelfuses are nasty, man. Weasley Wimps? Yeah, give me more of those. Now, I'm assuming that we can forge our knife, and that that will repair it, probably? I don't have to worry about that quite yet. Man, I, I can't believe the game has a durability system on top of everything else. It's the kind of, like... I respect a lot of what this game is doing, and a lot of <laughs> else what it's doing, I'm like, get out of here. <laughs> like, it has a lot of, uh, very... Ahead of its time concepts, but they don't necessarily contribute to an overall pleasant experience. I know you know what I'm saying. Gun attack, just get out of here. Now, the one dude was like, "Oh no, it's a Zerod." Can I? Okay, I've 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 never beaten a Zerod before, but I think am I gonna be able to? Yeah, we're good, we're fine. As long as it doesn't dodge this, and it didn't. It had four fangs, and that's it. Come on, for how tough Zerods are, they should give you more than four fangs. That's what I'm thinking, at least. Yeah, please, please do. Yeah, okay. So that's that's probably money you spend to restore the durability of your items. So that's something, I guess. But man, dude. It's me. I'll be cured. 480? That's, you know, that's not the worst. Not the most I've ever spent, I guess. Actually, it probably is. Dude, I'd love some armor. I don't have that kind of money, though. How about a shield? A shield is worth more than armor? What kind of economy do we have here? It's just absolute nonsense. Let me... yeah. Let me just go for it. Not like there's anything else I can do. <laughs> I'm saying, yeah, let me fight the Umutech as if I have an, any other option. Dude. Get your Gelfus ass out of here. It hurts. It hurts, but we did get one dodge.
Just keep saving. That's all you can do. Not a fan of this. At least I can put up a fight. Good. Ay, ay, ay. Heal me. 400. Okay, I think it is. It is based off of your total gold. It's not literally just every time you go in, they charge you more. So that's that's good, I guess. <laughs> We're just gonna grind this entire episode and accomplish nothing else. So for all you who like grinding, have I got a game for you? I mean, that's it's it's not specific to Miracle Warriors, you know, grinding. That's that's a JRPG staple. Dude, I would love to stab you. Let's try the open plains where they'll belong. Maybe maybe I misread the tone of what they say there. Maybe that's not more of a hey. Get out of my face and go into the wilderness because nowhere else will nowhere else will accept you, and maybe it's more of a hey. Aren't the open plains nice? We all belong here. Except for, you know, all of the Weasley wimps. That are stalking you everywhere. An unmutack. What will you do? I will attack it. I want another level up. And I will get it slowly but surely. Gelfus, I, I, I'm, I no longer fear the Gelfus. Mainly because I can two shot them. Definitely save again though. I need an evil merchant. Is what I need now. Not quite the same thing. If we're being honest. Not a lot to say. Mm -hmm. What else outside of uh, Miracle Warriors, you know? I guess it's that time to just pivot on to uh, whatever random just uh, whatever random discussion topic I want. Something appears to be broken. Did I? Oh come on! <laughs> I just wanted to go into town. Fortunately, it's just a Weasley wimp. I can deal with a Weasley wimp. Other discussion topics, yeah. Uh, French Grand Prix this morning is great. That's all I'll say on it, because you're probably not all Formula One fans. That's not all I'm going to say, no. Uh, it was great. A bunch of people thought it was going to be garbage. But it's like, hey, it goes to show you. You can't just assume. You gotta actually let the race happen. Maybe it'll surprise you. We can afford armor. If we buy it, we'll have very little gold left, but I don't think it matters. Uh, well, actually, we should... Fix my knife up. I got so much money, though. Gosh. No, no, no. Don't go back into town. Just... Oh, hold on. First off, status. Yeah, yep, yep. So that's exactly what that does. I assume that the... The more damage it is, the more expensive it is to fix. That just seems normal. But I do need to weasel my way up into regular armor as well. I'm not impressed by, by your presence. You don't give me nearly enough... Gilders. Sorry, yeah, I gotta use the lore appropriate unit of measurement here. I like how I can one-shot the thieves, I just wish I was faster than them. This is bad. But as long as we can beat it, maybe we'll be maybe we'll be able to squeeze a little level here. Can we attack first, please? Nope. Okay. Say, don't dodge me. It didn't dodge me. We're fine. No level to be had. So, we 
we, we pay first and then sell the fangs. I think that that is the superior way. So let's see, that was 520 gold that I spent. Do I even come close to making it back here? No. I should, probably should have done it the other way around. Live and learn, you know? And then just pray that you get an evil merchant. Which, this is not. This is a Gelfus. We've, we've been over this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just get smacked. Get smacked and give me another level up. And then maybe I'll, like... Once I get some armor and another level, maybe I'll feel inclined to go somewhere else. Nice dodge. I think the Weasley Wimp will do it. Probably not. <laughs> now I think about it, I think, oh, that was enough. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Doesn't change the fact, though, that I do definitely still need more gold. More guilders, sorry. We're up to 7 and 6 for stats. It's impressive, trust me. You're, n you're not an evil merchant. That's really all I'm interested in right now, is evil merchants. So if you could kindly remove yourself from the entire game. Wherever you are in the code, just be gone. It's so tempting. It's so tempting, but I don't know if I can bring myself to do it, you know? N now that I know the game is actively judging me for my my actions, I'm like, how can I disappoint it? Boy, this, this game has an exceptionally heinous grind to it as well. For how expensive everything is, and you having, essentially, no power at all. Like, some games, some JRPGs are a power fantasy. This one is more of a misery fantasy. Say... Safe one, yes. I think I can squeeze another fight out of all this here. Oh, yeah. Thief, easy. Easy, easy, easy. And you might say, ooh, you have enough money for the armor now. And I'm like, the, on paper, sure, but I, I need to heal up as well. Oh, let's, let's save. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. I also need to heal up, probably repair my sword. This zero is going to kill me, by the way. Unless I can two-shot it now. Yes. Yes! Oh, I can! Immense. Uh, sell the fangs first, I think, is the play. I think there is... There's probably a mathematically correct way of doing this, and I probably do it wrong every time. It's 5,930 damage. Okay. What do I desire? I desire to be healed. 740. Or is... Does it scale with how much health you're missing? Anyway. Armor. Armor is what you can do for me. I will use it. You do eventually get other party members, but as you can see, I'm not even close to <laughs> that level here. Uh, let's go south. There's something down there. A thief? You think that I'm even kind of intimidated? I'll just dodge you. And it'll just dodge me. Alright. We've accomplished nothing in one turn. Thank you. And look at that, we're already back up to 490. I'm not gonna kill ya as much as I'd like to. Getting real close to one-shotting the Yum attacks. Good lord. Actually, this would be a good time to test and see if... if it's based off of the gold you have, or 
how much health you're missing. Actually, it won't tell me anything because I'm... I don't have a lot of either. 80 guilders, yeah. That's probably based on your missing health, actually. Okay, so I know there's really nothing else in this island area, so we'll save and then venture north! And immediately fight a thief. Actually, though, before I do that, I, I should fix my, uh... Fix my sword as well. Make sure that I'm venturing out with maximum... Uh, durability. Because I would hate to run out of... Charges on my knife. It's, uh, it's a... It repulses me that I even have to say that as a sentence. Forge my sword, please. Yeah, fine. I'll pay you... I'll pay you your whore money. Our armor also has limited charges. <laughs> they were like, the, the, the grind isn't bad enough. We need to enhance it just a little more. Okay. Now that pretty much everything is topped off, now I'll venture forth. And hope I don't come across any Z-Rods. Hey, it did, like, no damage to me. The armor must be kicking in. Now, they told me... ...kind of where the thing I'm looking for is, but they didn't give me any cardinal directions. So... ...they didn't really tell me anything. This kind of played it coy the whole time. Ah, uh, not a Zerod. Come on. It still does a fair bit of damage. So with that, we save. It's just the non-stop encounters now. Which again, that's, that's just JRPGs. We couldn't have just been able to attack first. Yeesh! We're not dodging. We're doing a poor job of attacking first. I mean, yeah, we attacked first both times that time, but we really needed to avoid getting hit by everything else. <laughs> what good will a spell do now? Nothing, I guess. I don't have any spells. Probably. What do we got over here? A great lion! We're gonna die. We're not gonna die immediately, though. <laughs> 3,000 guilders! Oh, but now I have to fight a Zerod and everything, and I should have saved immediately. That said, though, saving immediately might have just, like, soft-locked me. Okay, we got the Zerod. I'm gonna save in slot two. Strategic. Oh boy, it's it's a nail biter now. I would love to simply find another village. That would be kind, but that's why it's not going to happen either. I made the implication that kindness was an option, and the game the game disagreed. Dude. That was a heck of a hit. Good job, Zerod, I guess. So now I can confirm if you lose all of your XP on continue or not. No, you don't. I was wrong. And I couldn't be happier that I was wrong. That said, I, uh... I clearly am not in the position where I can go out and adventure far and wide. because I take far too many hits. <laughs> There's something in there. Ooh, a lock on the cave entrance prevents entry. A frightful howling can be heard. Nice, it's nothing. A ho- Ooh, yes! Ooh. Well, it was nice knowing y'all. We 
are so screwed. Yeah. <laughs> the second I saw how big its health bar was, I was like, no, no, no. There's no chance. Not a single shot that I, that I lived through this. I need like a map. But they don't give you maps in games this old. Yeah, go ahead. Make me fight an unmutak. I'm like, I'm too terrified to actually do anything. I'm like, no matter where I go, it'll just be stuff that's out to kill me. Which I guess is how you make a video game, you know. A video game without conflict ain't really much of a game at all, is it? But when there's not much you can really do about it, it just feels a little, a little off, you know? One square was all it took. The monsters are really out in force. Thank you. I'm so glad to see you, good sir. I'm not glad to see you, however. I'm already crawling back to the village on my hands and knees. Begging for some relief. And we made it! <laughs> We're still alive! Now I know it doesn't matter what order you get your heals. Or your fang sold sell things. Ugh. I've given up on words because this game hasn't earned the right <laughs> to be discussed properly. It's, it's the kind of game that I assume... Yeah, let's just climb in the mountains where all the really hard stuff lives. Oh, it's an evil merchant, though. Give me all your money. Nice, nice. Okay, we can afford a shield. Which really just means, hey, more stuff that I need to perform maintenance on. I will use it, thank you. Check our status here. 25, 69, 60, okay. Now I need... <laughs> I don't know what I need, man. We're not gonna accomplish anything in this game. That much is obvious. That is, that did reduce the damage that was coming in though. That's pretty nice feeling. Between the armor and the shield, that'll save us a bit of grief, potentially. However, it's another hard shell bids. That's bad. It's gonna do a ton of damage. Can I retreat? Nope. Thou, thou art surrounded. So what... Tell me, what is the point of the retreat button if it doesn't ever seem to work? I saved properly, right? Okay, so... What I've learned, don't ever retreat. Now let me see my status. Yes, okay, I did save it at the right moment. So yeah, don't go don't go snooping around the mountains. You'll just die. Unless you're just better at the game, which, you know, ooh. A lot of talent. You just ground ground your way through. But yes, with a guide and sufficient grinding, obviously this game can be beat. It's just uh do you want to beat it? That's where the real question comes in. Like, I, I don't know which direction I gotta go either, man. I'm, I'm still just kind of wandering. Can I kind of put a question mark on the word wandering? Ooh. Hey, guess what? I don't fear you anymore. I've got armor and a shield. That's still a pretty solid amount of damage that you deal, but... Uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not scared. Don't go into the forest 
or the mountains. Everything there will demolish you. Now, d I wonder, just speaking with the original Master System cartridge, does the continue persist? Like, is that a straight up, hey, you can just save and come back whenever? That may seem like a dumb question. You may be like, well, why, why wouldn't you be able to? I'm just saying, hey, cartridge saving was a bit of a novelty back then. I mean, yeah, sure, Zelda did it. That's true. But the Master System, you know, it usually won't even let you continue a game, let alone save a game. So I'm... I'm genuinely curious. Now, I very clearly need to find a... No, oh, what I need is I need to get some potions, but by the time I have enough money to get some potions so I can heal myself on the go, I'll have run out of time. Yeah, you get yourself a guide, though. You could easily get through this game. It's it's a game where pretty much the, the only thing you need to do to actually beat it is just be patient. You grind it out enough, and you'll get there. Okay. First things first, I'll heal your brains. What's our status looking like? Everything is probably... Ah, uh, our knife is definitely in the worst shape, so... You know what? First off, we'll, we'll sell our fangs. Welcome to Fang Cellar, 1989, right? Hold on, let me make it right. It's on 1988, jeez. I'll buy fangs, yeah, you will. I'll forge your armor, yeah, you will. It's for me. I know, I haven't taken very good care of it. He'll, uh, yeah, do that too. It's two. Thank you. The next merchant I see I'm stabbing. Whether they're good or bad. I just need the money. For some potions. Mom, can I have money? To buy... Potions? Aha, yes. Actually donates to the town. Like a boss. But no, see, look at this. We're at, we're at plus 500 character. We're so beloved in this world that uh, I could stab 20 merchants and get away with it. I actually don't know what the fame at degradation cost for stabbing a merchant is, so I could be wrong there. This is going to be a real tricky game to to place in my rankings, because this is most certainly a game where you need far more than one hour to really get a full beat on it. So I will say it's it's all a little, a little obtuse for its own good. Sometimes it, it just can't help but give me merchants. Other times, they stay far away. I mean, it's a it's a good move on their part. We're basically a common bandit. But we're a very well-liked common bandit. Hey, there he is. I am sorry, man. You got the short end of the stick here. We lost 100 fame. Dude. You know what? A small price to pay. Check it out. We'll heal. We'll buy some herbs. They're like, is 2,000 too steep? I say, yeah. And they're like, okay, sold. <laughs> Verbiage. Could use a little work for sure. 
We'll top off our durability on all this stuff. Whoops, hold on. And then we'll spend the last five minutes of the game accomplishing nothing. It's, you know, I have no doubt that there's a very robust adventure waiting. Adventure? A very robust adventure waiting for you around the corner, but boy, it takes, takes a lot of time to accomplish anything here. Those of you who are more impatient may want to uh, utilize the emulator's speed up function. I'm not sure if RetroArch has that. It's got it, right? I used to use that on the uh, the Visual Boy emulator, the Game Boy Advance. I used that a lot back in the day when I was poor and couldn't afford Game Boy Advance games. I used it a lot on Pokemon, mostly. Speeding Pokemon up? That was a godspeed. A godspeed? A godsend! What did I tell you? I'm done with words. The early Zerod that we took too many hits on, that's not exactly a blessing. Another Z-Rod, though, so this is... It's just kind of escalating in... shame. <laughs> Please hit it. Come on. And already I'm like, I gotta save. <laughs> I've barely gotten far out of the city and already I'm... I'm on death's door. And watch, these herbs I bought, they're gonna heal, like, a fourth of my bar. <laughs> Ooh, what will you do? I wonder. I'll probably attack it, because I have nothing else I can do. And yet again, just given the vintage of this game, I feel like it's almost uh, rude to dock it too much. The rules for what an RPG should be weren't really out on the table yet, you know? Everyone was still experimenting. They didn't know what to do. It's another village! I am the Sage Kosama. Hmm. The Seal of the Dark Lord, is it? The seal is guarded by General Terraran to... To reach Terraran, thou will require three companions. These three of ancient lineage can help thee. They do not realize their own power. Awake, hearken awake, giant. One is in a town which prays to the god of the sea. I probably got, got, got to go all the way back down to the city I was just in. And, oh, and then, dude, once, then once you get your party set up, then... Look at the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's like, hey, look, you got a spot for party members now. It only took me an hour to, to uh, uncover that. And it was only because I was bold enough to set forth. <laughs> Again, this is, this is going to be a hard game to properly grade. I respect it. But if it thinks for one second that it's going to hit Shinobi levels of uh, uh, renown with me, it's got another thing coming. And I foe avoided your attack. Great. Outstanding. At least he can't really do anything to me. I mean, what's he doing? Throwing money at me? Hey, that's a level up. We get 2,000 guilders. Unfortunately, the, the episode's basically over. We finally opened up the the whole door on what could happen in this game without any time left to actually do anything about it. Now it's just throwing evil merchants at me. Could have used that a long time ago, game. Uh, I'm a little lost now. <laughs> but, but I'm sure making a lot of money. Keep throwing them at me, and I'll succeed forever. Well, you know, I'd love to just 
fight more evil merchants. Dude, d did they just spawn here? Is this just like the secret area? That's time, though. We can't play anymore. It's an interesting entry, I'll give you that. It's, uh... Hmm. It had a lot of very clever ideas. This is very difficult to breathe proper life into them, given how old it was. The durability I wasn't a fan of, you know. Uh, the grind was a little intense. But I feel like if we're grading it up against other games that I've played in this release cycle... Hmm. It's gotta be outperforming Blade Eagle, right? I mean, Blade Eagle was a decent enough game but it was very simple you know what i will i'll put it above blade eagle not not above ken Saden. and then we'll discuss these rankings more when we finish off this release cycle which is still going to be in a few episodes here so i don't know i'm a little wary about miracle warriors but at the same time i'm also kind of impressed by it you can be both at the same time i would have to sit down and spend way more time with it to see exactly what I feel uh, and that's not happening until I get a uh, master system someday and maybe I'll actually even just buy the game <laughs> that'd be pretty incredible wouldn't it somebody buying miracle warriors seal of the dark lord in the year of our lord 2021 anyway thanks for uh sticking around for that one that was that was a different kind of episode for sure first pure rpg we've seen on this entire series when next we come back to the Sega Master System, we'll be playing Shanghai. I know exactly what that is, actually. And if you don't know what that is, it's probably not anything that you think it is. But uh, we'll come there when next we're on the Master System. As far as the NES, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you that. I haven't decided if I want to try to sneak in a second episode a day or not. Probably not. That's just too much. That's that's what burnt me out. So, you know what? No, I'm going to tell you what's next on the NES, because that's where we're going to be next. Next up on this series, we're playing Anticipation on the NES, and we'll, we'll just, we'll be happy with that. So, hey, anyway, thank you so much for watching. As always, we will see you next time.